the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Michelle Wargo. Governor Rick Scott signed a $77 billion state budget Monday that includes a million dollars to widen County Road 466A to four lanes from US 27 West to the Sumter County line. Repeating similar findings from a federal agency earlier this year, the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services cited human error as the cause of the Blue Rhino Depot explosion last summer in Tavares. Sheriff Gary Borders is proposing a $3.2 million budget to boost salaries for all employees. Several county commissioners say meeting that would require raising taxes. We'll keep you posted on what's decided. On June 10th, all are invited to hear author and personal caregiver Joe Simpson speak on practical, down-to-earth lessons and resources to bolster the physical and emotional needs of informal caregivers. For more information and to RSVP, call this number. Boys and Girls Clubs of Lake and Sumter Counties launched the Summer Brain Game Program, a summer learning loss prevention program developed specifically for Boys and Girls Clubs. It's comprised of 17 one-week modules with fun themed activities for elementary school, middle school, and high school students. For more information, visit this website. Cullen Martinez, a freshman at Lake Sumter State College, was the proud recipient of a TASCO Newtonian Reflector Telescope donated by Ernie Rossi. Rossi wanted to offer a telescope to a student in Stuart Anderson's astronomy class. Dr. Anderson selected Martinez on the basis of his outstanding performance on an observation project. For more information on these stories, visit dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News and 90 on LSTV. I'm Michelle Wargo. Production for News and 90 is made possible by the All-American Summer Softball Camp starting June 16th at the National Training Center in Claremont. Are you ready to be a champion? For more information and registration, visit pfxathletics.com.